everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, my name's Nicole and this is Cooking with Mrs. Carmop. Today we are going to do a super simple dish. We call it Italian crock pot chicken. On those days that you're like, well, I want something easy. You can throw everything into the crock pot and be done. If you have a programmable crock pot, this makes it even easier. So let's get our ingredients. So today the hubby's at work and the daughter is doing her Girl Scout cookie booth. So I have a lot of things going on in the house today as far as cleaning and organizing. So I don't have a lot of time to stay in the kitchen. So on days like today, I love crock pot meals. They're easy. You put everything in, you set the time, you walk away six, seven, 12 hours later, you come back and you have an awesome meal. So. Let's show you what we got. Okay, so obviously we got our crock pot. And if you guys have not invested in these handy dandy little crock pot liners, I suggest you go do so. They make cleanup 10 times easier. You just, when everything's out of it, crinkle it up, throw it out. Your crock pot is clean. There's no residue. You don't have to soak it or anything. So this is a huge, huge time saver, saver for me. Next. We have our Italian dressing. Make sure it is the zesty Italian dressing. That's what kind of gives this dish the kick. And then because our family likes chicken drumsticks, you can also use chicken thighs for this. We have a family pack of chicken drumsticks. So this was already frozen and what I did is I just defrosted it. So what I'm gonna wanna do for this is we're gonna take all the skin off of these drumsticks. So let's do that. Okay, we got all of our chicken legs. Skin, uh, skin taken off. So as you saw, I used my kitchen shears. It makes things a lot easier. And some of these were still a little bit frozen. So they were a little bit um, harder to work with. If you have a little bit of skin left on there, it's not a big deal, you guys. It really isn't. Um, but if you thaw your chicken ahead of time, it makes things much easier. So even though we have the liner in here, you're gonna want to spray it down with your cooking spray. So we're just gonna give that a real good Spray down here. Okay, then we're just gonna place our chicken in our liner, nice and neat. And I do every other, so one leg faces this way, the other leg faces that way. You can also use um, chicken thighs for this. And if you prefer, you can always, of course, use the boneless or skinless chicken legs and skinless chicken thighs. I have not tried the chicken thighs yet, so we'll see how this comes out. But we really like chicken drumsticks in our household, so we're going to go that route today. Okay, those are all nice and neatly placed in there. So now what we're going to want to do is we're going to take our one bottle of dressing and you can also marinate this in like a Ziploc bag the night before and then just throw it in the crock pot the day of. Just take everything and just dump it right into your crock pot um, if you're pressed on time the day of. And then make sure you shake it up really well. This is pretty shaken. So then we're just gonna pour it over our chicken. That's one whole bottle. Um, I'm gonna stick with one bottle right now and see how it cooks up. And then if I think I need the other bottle, I will add it. So you wanna 
put your timer on. I'm putting mine on high and I'm going to cook it for five hours. Okay. And we're going to put the lid on and we're going to let it go. So we'll check back with you in a little bit. Okay, so I've checked on our chicken legs and we have an hour and 15 minutes left. And at this point, I think I'm going to turn it down to low. I don't want it to be done too soon. So for the remaining time, we're just going to put it on low. And I'll let you guys check out what it looks like. It smells so good in here, you guys. I also took some dry, oops, dry Italian seasoning mix. Look at that. You see it? Look at that. Doesn't that look so good? Oh, I'm so excited to, to eat this tonight, you guys. I also took the dry Italian seasoning that you use to make homemade dressing and I sprinkled a little bit of that on there. I did not need to add any more Italian dressing because I felt that the chicken had enough in it as it was. So, and you don't want to overdo it. So let's let this cook the rest of the way and then we'll show you when it's all done. So I was trying to figure out with the Italian chicken, what I was gonna make with it. We're trying to stay away from our carbs and our pasta a little bit and eat more vegetables. So I came up with some asparagus, some white mushrooms, and some cauliflower. And I'm gonna cut everything up and we're gonna roast it in the oven. have everything all cut up and arranged on our cookie sheet. Um, I'm going to drizzle it with some olive oil. And then what kind of seasonings do you guys like to do on your roasted vegetables? I do a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper, sometimes some Italian um, seasoning, dried Italian seasoning. I think I'm going to go with that today just so it pairs nicely with the chicken and it kind of brings all the flavors together that way. Okay, so we got our Italian seasoning spice. I'm just gonna sprinkle it over my vegetables. Get them all nice and coated in that. Sometimes I add some chopped up onion or some garlic don't think I'm going to do that this time though. I had the onions set out, but no, nah, I think we're just going to go this route. Now I just want to make sure all the oil is all over those vegetables and nice and covered. You can do this with a spoon too if you don't like the feel of oil on your hands. Alright, just kind of space them out a little bit. You don't want them on top of each other. And when you roast your vegetables, you want to roast them at 400 degrees. Some take a little bit longer than others. We're going to start with about 20 minutes. If you do the heartier vegetables like cauliflower, broccoli, carrots, um, potatoes, that may take closer to maybe 30 to 35 minutes. But I think we're going to be okay with about 20 minutes today. When your vegetables go in, your oven does not need to be pre preheated, excuse me. I just put in on mine 400, convect, pull it open, and then put them in. Uh, this way you're not opening and closing your oven door as much. Every time you open or close, or open your door, on your oven, you lose anywhere between 25 and 50 degrees. And if you keep it open for a couple of minutes, that's, that's a lot that it goes down in temperature. So I just put my temperature in, throw my oven, my vegetables in, and then I set my timer for, in this case, I'm gonna set it for 30 minutes and then we'll check back in 30 minutes. 
Okay, so we've had our vegetables in the oven for about 15 minutes now. We're gonna go ahead, open up the oven and just stir them a little bit and see how they look. I usually give them a nice stir right halfway through. Oh yeah. Nice and gold. Oh, you guys can't see that, can ya? Oh, there we go. finished product so the vegetables are done it's kind of what you guys are looking for see how the cauliflower has that little brown on it that is what you guys are looking for so we're gonna plate this up serve it to the family and see what their reaction is so you guys karma decided to finally eat he hasn't even made himself a plate he's just eating over the crock pot what's your reaction it's extremely good. <laughs> it really is. I'm... It must be really good if he's eating it right out of the crock pot, you guys. I took one bite and I'm like, I don't even need to go any further. I'm just going to stay right here and just get at it. But you can't see if there is a bowl underneath me. So I'm not like a complete freaking hooligan, you guys. See, there's a bowl right here. <laughs> hey, it saves on a dish, right? Sassy is trying dinner. And we are going to get her reaction to the Italian crockpot chicken. Hi. Shelby, what do you think? A really good. You like it? Yeah. Yeah? Can I make it again? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Another successful dinner. Shortly. But now I'm going to sit down and I'm going to eat. So if you guys enjoyed this video, Hit that like, smash that subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Have a great night.